All right, so we're gonna first start off with just, this is gonna sound weird, but you're gonna start off with a rectangle shape like this. Very lightly draw this, because we will be changing quite a bit of this. You're just gonna start with a rectangle, however big you wanna make his head, from the top of his hat to the bottom of his beard. So if you want more of his body, leave more space down there. All right, so then what you're gonna do is not exactly in the middle, but a little bit off to the side, you're gonna very lightly draw a guideline going down. And then somewhere in the middle-ish, you're gonna draw a guideline going across so that we know where to put the facial features. So because yet we're gonna account for the beard, it's not quite center, it's a little bit higher than center so that we have space for the beard. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start with the uh, eyes and then we're gonna move to the nose, mouth, and the other facial features. All right, so if we're focusing on the eye, we're gonna focus like just here in this area first. So to start with the eye, he has uh, kind of like uh, downturned eyes, so not in the middle. You're going to go over just a little bit. I'm going to start with a diagonal line, and he has downturned eyes. So after that diagonal line, you're going to do kind of like a flat line going across like this, however wide you want his eyes to be. And then he has a droop that goes down at a slight angle like this. So you want to try to capture each of those angles. And then the bottom of his eye is relatively flat as well. And then once it gets right below this corner, you're gonna start curving it upwards like this. And then he has his Irish slash pupil on the inside. And you just draw that with like a smiley face or a curve. Then you just fill it in. Usually I leave a highlight, but it's up to you what you wanna do there. He does have a lid to his eye. So really close to the eye, you're just gonna draw a diagonal line and then a flat line, similar to this. And then above that, you wanna have his eyebrow so we're going to start the eyebrow really close to the center line, but not touching. Just make sure that it's above the eye. And we're going to start with just a parenthesis. We're going to do a slightly flat line and then kind of slightly tilt it down, just a little bit past the eye. And then we're just going to draw a line connecting those. You can go back and add like a uh, hair texture and stuff to make that feel more realistic if you want to. But we can just leave it as just a shade for now. All right, so now we want to repeat that on the other side. The only thing is that his face is slightly turned, so you wanna make sure that it's a little it's a little bit different, right? So, but you do wanna measure the eye. So I'm gonna measure this width from this corner to this corner, scoot over, and then put like a little dot over here so I know where to start the other eye. So this eye should be approximately one eye over from the other one. And then if you wanna make sure you get your measurements right, I would measure this eye again go over so that I know where to stop the other eye. So I, this eye needs to be somewhere in this zone so that it matches this eye. So measuring is a really important step. All right, so this eye is slightly curved because he's slightly looking to the side. So to do this one, you're gonna do a slightly different step than this one. You're gonna start on that corner mark and then you're just going to go up slightly and then curve down to the other corner mark. So it's like an upside down frown, or sorry, upside down like Nike check side almost, or like a frowny line to where it has a sharper angle here and then a slight slope here. And then for the bottom eye, it's slightly curved, but not really too much, just a slight curve. You don't want this to look like really big like this. That's a, too big of an eye. You wanna keep that fairly sloped, okay? Now, because he's looking at us, this uh, eye, eye, like this pupil part in iris is gonna actually be slightly to the side here instead of the middle because his head's tilted or turned. So he's kind of looking at you, so you wanna make sure that it's not like dead center like this one was, right? All right, so once you get this one sketched out, his eyelid is actually uh, drooped over, so you're gonna start the eyelid on the corner. This one is facing us, so there's no uh, touching here, but this one you're gonna start on the corner, go up slightly, not very much, just a tiny bit up, and then you're gonna do a frown coming to the other side, and that's gonna be the shape of his eyes. So going up from here, we're gonna do his eyebrow, so go up until it's about even-ish with this other eyebrow. And then you're just gonna do a slight diagonal line because his head's turned. And then do a slight frown until you get above the corner of this side. And then connect it together with a frown shape. And same thing as the other side. If you wanna add some texture in there, you can, or you can just scribble it in in order to make it look like um, his eyebrow hair. All right, so once you're satisfied with your eyes, you're gonna move down to your nose. So if we're looking at our square shape, you wanna make sure that uh, if you do actually get too far down here, this is why we draw it lightly, we can erase it and scoot it down if we need to. All right, so you measure the nose by the eye. So once again, you measure the eye and then you're gonna tilt the eye down. So if in between my fingers here and here, 
is the measure of the eye. I'm going to tilt it down, and that's going to tell me how far down his nose needs to be. So this is one eye down. So his nose is going to go, because his head's slightly tilted, it's actually going to be on this side of the line, not in the middle of the line. So you're going to very lightly sketch out a circle right there next to that dot. The circle should be below the dot mostly, not above it or even with it. It's mostly below that dot, okay? This is going to be the tip of his nose. Then what you're going to do is you're going to draw very lightly because his head's slightly tilted up. His nostril flare is going to be slightly lower than the tip of his nose. And then this one's going to be slightly closer like this. So just trust the process. I know it looks weird right now. Just trust it, okay? So this nostril flare should line up with this corner of the eye. So if I go down, that should line up. And then this nostril flare should line up pretty close to this corner of the eye. So make sure you're not doing it too small or too big. All right, so now that we got our basic shapes in the way, in between here where we see this overlap, you're gonna do a very small kind of frown shape. This is gonna be his actual nostril. And then this nostril, because it's slightly turned, you wanna start on this side of the circle. Don't start in the middle or down here. You wanna start on this side of the circle. You're gonna go up slightly in a slight diagonal line and then curve it down like this. If you want to add a little bit of shading there, you can, but it's not necessary, so that you have his nostrils. All right, so we keep the tip of the nose here. If you want to shade this in or sketch it in, you can, but you keep the tip of the nose here, and then we keep this nostril flare here and here and in order to make the nose shape feel more natural, right? Now, um, because his head's slightly turned, we do see a little bit of the side profile of the nose, so in between this area right here, we want to see a slight shadow come up right next to the eye that looks kind of like a triangle like this because the sides of our noses are triangles and you can just shade that in if you want to if you're choosing to shade it or if you want to color it color it darker and then we can see a little bit of the hook of his nose right below the eyebrow you're just going to add a slight curve that kind of aims down towards the tip of this circle you don't have to fully connect it you can just leave it separate like this now if you want to you can't erase a little bit of this circle so it's not so circly but overall, I usually leave most of that circle so that it makes it easier for me to be able to tell where I need to shape more. All right, once you are finished with the nose, he does have a little bit of what's called a divot right below the nose in the center. It's like a little U shape. It's where the uh, below the nose kind of dips in a little bit. And then right below that is where we're going to draw the mouth. So very lightly sketch that U shape. His beard covers most of that or mustache, whatever it's called. So right below this, we're going to check the measurement of his eyes. If you go down from his eye, that's going to be where the corner of his mouth is, is somewhere in this area. Same thing here, right in the middle of his eye, go down. That's going to be roughly where the sides of his mouth is. So um, he has kind of sort of a neutral expression. So we're going to go, here's this uh, divot, right? Go below the divot, about like uh, this far down, not too far, but a little bit far down, about the same distance as nostril to nostril right here. That's about how far down you're going. And then you're just gonna start with kind of like a flat line that goes down just a little bit until it gets close to that dot. You don't have to touch it necessarily. And then once you get to the divot, you're gonna start angulating it down more because his head is tilted. So it makes his mouth look a little bit more tilted downwards. So it's almost like a frowny face in a way. All right, once you've achieved that, usually the corners of the mouth are darker because that's where you have the mouth fold. So you can darken those corners just a little bit. And then right below the divot, we're going to have the upper lip. His upper lip is just a little bit of a smile down. So smile down. Usually people shade the upper lip just because it's cast in shadow, but you don't have to. That's up to you. And then he does have his lower lip a little bit. So right below here, uh, kind of like in between his two like uh, dots for his mouth, you would just draw a slight indication of his lower lip. Okay. Now he does have like a mustache. So if you want to add like a little bit of mustache hair here, you can, or you can come back later. And all I'm doing is I'm just adding little scratch marks like chicken scratch in order to add that. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm gonna back out a little bit so you can kind of see, it's gonna look kind of weird in a square, but here you can kind of see that this has kind of reached down to the bottom of my square and that's totally fine. So now we wanna change it because his face obviously isn't a square. We're gonna change this so that we get the dents in the face. So up here at the top, we're gonna leave the forehead alone. But once we hit the eyebrow, we're going to add what's called the brow dent. That's where you're going to dip this in a little bit by adding a parenthesis right here next to his eye. And then after we add that parenthesis, then he has his jawline go down. And then you want to stop whenever you get across from the upper lip because that's where his beard is going to start. Okay, so stop whenever you get across his upper lip. And then we're going to go ahead and define his other side as well before we draw the beard. So over here, right across from his eyebrow, you're going to draw a slight diagonal line. 
and that's going to be where his temple bone is. And now we can draw the beard shape. So for his beard, it's best if you draw just like kind of like zigzag lines or like longer scratches, kind of like what we did with the mustache. This is called like a Z line. Don't have it fully connected. Allow there to be some gaps where you kind of pick up your pencil to add a, kind of like a dot, dot, dash. All right, so around his face, if you want to very lightly just kind of sketch, it's going to make a slight dip here. It's going to make a slight smile down here. So leave space for a chin. And then it's going to kind of go up at an angle like this. So his face is gonna look really weird at first, just trust the process. So on that line, you would add that kind of dot, dot, dash, ziggy zag texture in order to make it look like the top of his beard. And then he has a pretty scruffy beard. So below that, you're just going to go from this corner right here, you're gonna go out at an angle, just a little bit. And if you want to, you can very lightly sketch. His beard kind of goes in a B curve. And then it goes below here, it actually goes down relatively straight with just a slight angle. And then it just curves back in on itself. So then you would just add all the textures that you want to for his beard, okay? And you can add more texture on the inside, but that's up to you. All right, so once we've established this part, it looks really funky right now because he doesn't have his ear. We don't see this ear because it's on the other side of his head, but we do see this one. So if you go across from his eye, that's where we're gonna have the ear over here. Don't start it here because this is his hair. You're gonna go over a little bit and start it here. So if you wanna draw like a little indication of his sideburns, that might help a little bit. So across from the eye and across from the nose tip. So the bottom of that circle, go across from that. It should line up pretty close to where your beard is stopping. And then to draw the ear, all it is is you're just gonna go frowny face like this, curve it out. He has a, um, a dip in his ear right here. So after you curve it out, whenever you get close to the bottom of the ear, you're just gonna add a smile here because he has distinct ear lobes, right? All right, so on the inside of the ear, the only details that I think are necessary is you add a little bump for the tragus, then you add one, two, and then maybe three curves for like the little cone shapes in your ear. So this is just smiley face, frowny face, frowny face, right? All right, so from there, that's where the beard is coming out of. We don't see the neck because the beard is covering the neck, okay? Now, he is wearing a hat, so I'm going to scoot this over here. So his hat's going to cut off a lot of his forehead area, so we're probably going to end up erasing a lot of this up here. So his hat is, like, right above his eyebrows, and it starts right here where his hairline stops. So right across from his eyebrow, you're just going to do a very slight frown that goes a little bit past his face. The reason we're doing this is because there's an overlap. After you do the slight frown past his face, his hat kind of makes a diagonal until it touches his ear because that's the cap going backwards in space. So from this area, after we do the diagonal line, go above. We're going to do a slight frown, but we're going to make it get a little further away. So notice that I'm just having more of a space here as I get further away. You're just going to go out a little bit. Notice it's getting bigger as we get further away. And then once you get to wherever you want the length of his uh, rim of his hat, you're going to curve it back until it touches his forehead like this. That way we get the bill or whatever that is called for the hat. All right, for the height of the hat, if you measure it, it should be equal to the height of his eye to his mouth. So this height right here is how tall his hat is. So I'm gonna hold that, go up, and that's where it's gonna tell me that I need to put the top of his hat. So at the top of his hat, he has like a little bit of a lump. It makes a diagonal line. And I'm doing this from the center. If I follow that center line up, that's where the center of his hat is. It's gonna be a slight diagonal line down and then you just do like a wiggly line down until you get to where it's across from his forehead. And then you're just going to do the same thing kind of here. You're going to go across from here. So find this diagonal line that was next to the eyebrow. Go up like this. And then that's where we're going to have this connect over here. So it looks like a weird little, um, like a cowboy hat at first. And then the very last thing you do for the hat is you do a diagonal line going backwards a little bit. And then you just curve it down to touch the ear. And you can add whatever kind of logos and designs that you want on here. You can add like wrinkles and imperfections to make the hat feel more like a hat. Okay. All right. So the last thing I was going to show you is just a little bit on how his like neck would interact with his shirt and stuff. So uh, he's wearing like a flannel. So you're going to first like below his chin, you're just going to add kind of like a V shape like this. And then you're going to add the curve that makes up his like whatever that's called the flannel part now his neck actually is right across from his mouth but we don't see it because it's under the beard so go across from the mouth and then do a line right here to indicate where his uh, neck meets his shoulder right and then the rest of this just kind of goes 
off the page, okay? And if you want to kind of curve it down, you can for like the top of his shoulder if you have enough page space. Just make sure his shoulder's not too small because he does have wider shoulders. So make sure you're not doing that too small, otherwise he's gonna look a little bit awkward. All right, you do kind of the same thing over here. We have right below the center of his eye. That's where we're gonna have that neck part. You're just gonna draw a curve down and then just change it to a frown down so it looks like the flannel that meets in the middle. And then once again, we're just gonna do a diagonal line out for his shoulder. So that would come, oops, <laughs> sorry, I dropped the thing. That would complete your rough sketch. And obviously you can add more details and stuff to make it look more like the person. But overall, that's a good way to get started. And any other details that you see that you might wanna add, definitely feel free to go back and start adding them. Adding shading and stuff can really help, especially if you do like, he has really strong cheekbones. Drawing a diagonal line with a smile and shading this in can create really strong cheekbones that he has. And then any other small details that you see that you want to add to make him look more like him. Like he has like a little soul patch thing down here. So definitely experiment, have fun, and just add as many details as you want. All right, good luck.